Hey everyone, what is the crack? For a while now, I've been on the fence about getting direct drive, uh, mainly because of the costs involved. Uh, as you guys know, I've been a firm supporter of Logitech and Thrustmaster, um, and uh, I never really made the leap until now. A couple of weeks ago, Simagic uh, put out, I've never heard of them, they put out a little social media thing saying, does anybody want to work with us? Um, so I engaged with them, I was a little bit curious, a little bit on the fence for a while, uh, but their attitude was really, really good, um, and uh, they want me to be 100% honest about the product, and they haven't signed me into any contracts or anything like that, so uh, that's the type of company I want to work with. So uh, today is the unboxing video, and there's going to be a review video in, uh, hopefully within the next week or so, uh, when I get a chance to properly use it. So uh, without further ado, let's get unboxing. So the very first thing that pops out at me is, this packaging is really, really professionally presented, uh, all of their social media, website stuff is all in place. Um, and from chatting to the guys, it became immediately apparent that uh, they're actually quite active in the Chinese market already. Uh, they were established in 2017, um, and they started shipping their first incarnation of this M10 direct drive wheel uh, in 2018. So uh, they've already dealt with a lot of teething issues and all that. This is actually, uh, as far as I can gather, and seeing other people who reviewed them so far, this is actually quite a polished product. So I'm extremely excited about that aspect of things. Uh, they sent me links to the software, all that kind of stuff. And oh, that's nice. That is very nice. Magnetic. Oh, that's pretty damn cool. Close up that for you. That's a damn nice rim. Stitching's really, really nice on it. The uh, leather's actually really, really nice and soft, uh, which is great. It's really soft. It's the softest leather I've ever felt on a sim racing wheel, for sure. Um, some buttons, they're nice and, there's a nice depth to those buttons. Um, we'll have to see in game how it feels when you actually, uh, when you actually click those. Uh, this is just an up and down shift, uh, don't know if it presses in, and this is, uh, as far as I'm aware, just for adjusting your settings in-game. Um, got some uh, dials here, there's not a huge amount of feedback on those, um, but should be enough while you're in-game. I'm not sure if I'd feel that through gloves, but I don't use gloves, so, uh, but I will be testing it with gloves. Um, we've got 360 degrees, 900, 540, 1080. Uh, I'm assuming that that's just for adjusting stuff while you're in game. Um, flappy paddles at the back, they're relatively loud. Uh, don't know if my wife is going to be delighted with those, but feels like a pretty good click. Um, we'll have to see in game. This uh, quick release system seems very, very uh, familiar to me. It's uh, similar to what I have in my S13s. Um, so uh, it's I think it's just a simple ball bearing, it just clicks on, it has a very satisfying click. Uh, it's like those uh, uh, D1 spec ones that you might see, or uh, my own system is NRG. There's a USB port on the back uh, that as far as I'm aware we won't be needing. And when you look in here, you'll actually see that there are little connections for wireless connector, um, which allows this to be a, a cable-free system, a properly wireless system. So I'm very, very excited about that. That was one of my criteria as well. Um, I'll go into more detail about uh, the uh, various models available, spec, uh, stuff like that. Uh, I'm told that as far as the M10 goes right now, this is the top spec. Uh, this is the GT1 rim. It's the only rim currently available, uh, but they do have plans to introduce other rims in future. Um, really excited to try it out. That looks like a really solid product, very similar to unboxing a uh, Thrustmaster or Fanatec. Uh, type wheel. Um, it's actually, do you know what, it actually reminds me more of the uh, cube controls wheels, just the way it's laid out, uh, the, uh, the way the buttons are, uh, the little uh, housing for the buttons, um, the overall feel of it probably would be higher end than what you'd expect from a Thrustmaster or uh, a Fanatec, so that's pretty cool, really, really happy with that. In the box as well you get this uh, SimMagic adapter, uh, which is basically looks a bit like just a, a basic enough Arduino board uh, with some connectors for your pedals and shifter. Um, so there's no shifter with this, so I'd be curious what that shifter or if they actually do 
produce a shifter. There's very little information about Sim Magic out there, uh, so I'm really curious to find out more. Uh, and here's just a, a basic uh, micro USB uh, to USB cable, which is going to be our main uh, cable, I guess. So with the GT1 rim unboxed, let's go and unbox the 10 newton meter force direct drive wheelbase, uh, which I guess is the business end of this setup. Um, they seem extremely confident in this thing, and uh, they seem to have absolutely no doubts about it. Uh, just to give you guys a bit more detail about the partnership that I have with them. Uh, I got this at a reduced rate. There was purchase involved, so I did do this out of my own uh, free will. I probably got it at around half price, uh, so uh, that's pretty good. But one of my questions to them was, uh, is this an exclusive deal? Uh, do I have to you know, use Simagic forevermore? Uh, what's, what's the story there? And uh, they said to me, uh, pretty much uh, in a nutshell, um, if you like it, use it, put it on your streams, endorse it, all that kind of stuff. Uh, if something better comes along or something that I prefer using, just go ahead and use it. They didn't tie me into any contracts or anything like that. Uh, they've taken a risk in that they don't know if I'm just going to sell this thing or whatever. Uh, and they've not tied me into anything whatsoever. It's just purely based on trust. And that um, I really respect, I really like. Uh, it earned them a lot of points in my book. Um, so let's have a look in here. Uh, we've got some more USB cables. Uh, so they're USB B cables. Um, what have we got in here? Some bolts, a uh, little Allen key, a little book, warranty card. I mean, this is really professionally presented. This is what you'd expect from a, a, a polished product. It's obvious that they're already, either they've put a lot of thought into this um, and they're, they've made a very good go at it, or else they're already selling these, um, lots of these. They aim to release this, uh, I, they, I've been told, they aim to release this in the first quarter of 2020. So we could be talking a couple of weeks before this is actually available. They're working on a website uh, and their worldwide distribution level uh, networks. So uh, here we go, a big uh, transformer for the, uh, for the power. You guys probably can't see that properly on the video. Um, it looks like, let's see. Uh, yeah, it's got a, a, an Asian socket on it. Uh, I have an adapter at home. I wasn't expecting them to provide an EU socket with that. And uh, here we go, let's get this guy out. This is very well packaged. There's no way that was moving around in transit anyway. So here we go, that's the DD base. It's actually smaller than I expected. Um, it's, uh, let's put it into perspective with your average rim. It's uh, actually not much longer than, uh, a, what's this, a 330, uh, maybe 340 mil rim. Um, it's actually not much uh, bigger than that at all. Uh, really, really heavy. Um, when I saw the gray, uh, I wasn't too sure about it, but that's pretty subtle and it does make the unit stand out. Uh, I've got a big Simagic logo on the top. Uh, really nice, kind of almost like a machine gun turret uh, effect going on here. A uh, really nice uh, adapter plate with a wireless connection. Uh, that I think is going to be one of the huge, huge factors because wireless, as we know in direct drive, is one of the things that people are struggling to get right. It's going to be really, really interesting to see where this goes. Um, and it looks to me like that wheel will just click on here. Now, I saw Chris um, do this in his review. Uh, and I'll, I'll link to that review below as well. Uh, and uh, it went horribly wrong for him. So my, my NRG has a little button on it. Let's see if this will actually click in. Let's do a little bit of prep. Looks like it's something like this. And we'll click that. No. Oh, yeah, it does have a button. There we go, click. So that's pretty cool. Whoa, it's good weight in it. Really good bit of weight in it. That's what it looks like with the rim on. The rim is quite nice. The logo is quite subtle on it. Um, they've got no branding or whatever on there, which, which I kind of like. I don't like a Ferrari logo on there when I'm driving a, a BMW or whatever. It's fairly generic. And modders will love the fact that this is just a place that you can actually take off, customize, 
uh, it hides the underlying bolts. There's a carbon fiber effect on here. I wouldn't be surprised if it is actually carbon fiber. Uh, all the bolts and stuff look really nice, really well finished. Stitching's lovely on it. Um, this is a this is a pretty pretty polished product. Um, there you go. On the back, even you have a carbon fiber effect. Uh, we've got power supply cable there. Uh, we've got um, the uh, USB connectors, um, force feedback connector. Um, seems like it's relatively easy to open up. Should you go need to go in there, but I doubt you should you should need to go in there. And the rim, just holding the weight of the force feedback motor by the rim. Rim feels super solid. I mean, I'm sure they don't want you to be doing this, but it's one of the tests. A lot of people worry about flex. And we'll have to see when we're actually using it. Now, obviously, this isn't a, a, a top-end direct drive wheel, but it is very much up there in the, uh, uh, in the entry level. And uh, to the best of my knowledge right now, they expect to be around the 1,000 euro mark, um, 1,000 dollar mark. Uh, I think that the wireless and uh, stuff like that are, are upgrades. Um, I'll... Uh, I'll clarify that in a little bit more detail. So as far as mounting options go, we've got some uh, bolts that can go in at the bottom here. So they're probably the ones that I'm going to be using and I'm hoping that in that little bag uh, we're going to have uh, those little bolts. I'll have more on the installation and that in my review video. Um, for those of you who don't have a base plate uh, that you can bolt into, uh, they come with these little brackets. Lots and lots of various connections, uh, adjustments. I'm guessing that it's going to be something like that. Not sure if it's like that or like that. Uh, I'll have to find that all out when I, when I actually go to my rig. But as I say, I might, even, might not even need these because in my Simitech rig, I already have quite a bit of adjustment. And I want the wheel to sit kind of nice and low so I can slot it in close to my, uh, close to my monitors. So, uh, but really, really cool. Very, very thick metal. That's not going anywhere. Um, so, yeah, pretty cool. They aim to release in the first quarter of 2020. Uh, this is the M10 direct drive base. So the DDW base, this is a 10 Newton meter uh, torque base. Um, just to put that into some bit of perspective, the highest level uh, belt driven base is about seven. I think that's the Club Sport V2. The TSPC Racer is six, I think. Um, even though those figures are, are kind of unofficial. To put it into perspective, the prospective buyer is going to come from a, a Logitech or a Thrustmaster or Fanatec. Uh, this is going to, power-wise, is going to be an upgrade. Uh, we'll have to wait and see how, how it fares software-wise. Um, it looks to be relatively straightforward, even with the limited documentation that's out there. So uh, uh, you get the M10 direct drive base. Uh, you've got... Uh, the encoder with hub and uh, shifter paddles. Uh, you've got the proper quick release. You don't have to pay any extra for that. Um, you've got uh, lights behind the buttons. You've got um, yeah, just a really, really high quality rim. Worth noting as well that these products come boxed separately. Even though they're part of this package, uh, they have their own warranty cards. So uh, if you should want a specific product, um, or even want to try and fit this to your existing base, uh, it should be quite doable. Um, and uh, all the various options, all the various configurations will be on their website when the time comes. So there we have it, everything's unboxed. This is the Magic Dynamic Direct Drive Wheel, 10 Newton meter force, and it's got the uh, uh, rim with it, which is extremely high quality. Uh, I know that the uh, the old uh, adage goes that the Chinese quality, you get what you pay for. Um, this really feels far more like uh, a, a mainstream product. Uh, I can't believe how good it is considering I've never heard of it. Um, now, I, I haven't unboxed a lot of the other major competitors, but I do know that a lot of the other major competitors don't give you all of this stuff for this price. So this is a particularly exciting upgrade option for anybody who's currently on Thrustmaster, Fanatec, Logitech, uh, who's on the fence about you know, making the leap, upgrading. Uh, really, really uh, cool product. Cool to see these products making it into the rest of the world. Um, so once the distribution hubs are set up, as I say, they'll be shipping these out at the start of 2020. So it's Q1 2020. I was a little bit amazed. It's obvious that they're selling lots of these already. 
Uh, it's a very polished product. The unboxing was a very pleasant experience. Um, and I'm super excited about going home and enjoying the shit out of this thing. Uh, I cannot wait. So thanks a million for watching this, this uh, unboxing video and stay tuned for the review in about a week's time.